Oh, I haven't made a, uh, a video in a very long time. Uh, anyway, today I'm probably going to do an update. To, I'm going to do an update tutorial on how to stream with really bad internet because apparently a lot of you like it, especially from the US market, uh, US viewer base. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to do it with the new OBS design, how it looks and all that. Um, if you want, you can copy my settings if you want. Uh, uh, Experimentation is always good. So you can have a stream, so you, pretty much you do your stream, you can have a custom streaming or stream, you can do Twitch, Facebook. If you're doing Twitch, you should know how to get your stream key, it's on the website, it's pretty easy, it's in your dashboard. And you select the server where you're closest to, so for me it's Sydney, Australia. Now we go to output, I leave it on advance, audio track 1, if you have it to this, that is your GPU, graphics card, if it's that, that's your CPU doing it. For me, I like to output at 720p, because there's no point streaming at 1080 or 4k, and it does the less stress on your hardware. This bit right here, is how much you're going to upload per second. So, 2500 is 2.5 megabytes. That is an ideal for 720p. If you want to do 480, you can do 1 megabyte. So, for example, if you don't know what your um, if you don't know what your upload speed is, it's always best to check on speedtest.net. So just type in speedtest. You can answer the Google one or this site. So you go hit go. And you'll do a quick test. And you'll be looking for this. Tr don't use your up don't use the full upload potential. So say you can upload at four megabytes a second. Don't use all of it because you're gonna slow down the internet for downloading and you're gonna have bad time. Normally go half or three quarters of it. So my upload's two point three megs. It, it, this is during the day, it's like middle of the day, everyone's using it now. Uh, it, there is off-peak, off-peak normally some s uh, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. And peaks from 7 to 10. So you'll be looking for this number, so that's 2.3 megabytes. I can get away with 4 megabytes, but that's just speed test. Don't know. So if that will give you an ideal, but um... This, this number's fine for me, I've tested it, don't get any ping difference. You can even do 3 megabytes if you're able to do it, but if you have really bad, if you have like 1 megabyte upload, best to do 800 kilobytes. It'll be pretty, pretty simple. Just leave that how that is, CBSI, you can leave that all like that. Audio, separate 48 hertz, desktop speakers, whatever you um, you can either leave it on default or select, if you know what, uh, or plug-in device or audio jack you use, what device you're using for the speakers, you can. Same with the mic, you can enable push to talk or video delay or like audio or video delay. This bit, when you start streaming, you cannot do this. So you do this, this is whatever resolution you are. So this is based on what your screen is. So my screen size is 1920 by 1080. But if you're not sure, you can always go to settings and it will tell you here. Display one. That's what it says recommended. So I've got a second screen. It tells me recommended. So you base this of what that is. Now this is what you're going to be outputting or uploading. So if you want to stream in 1080p, you can. 720, you can even go as 480. So you got all these numbers. So it goes to whatever your screen can do. So you can go down to 720. I go. I normally stream in 720 because that's fine. It looks fine. You can even go to 4, 480. Um, you can change this, how the sampling rate is, I just leave it on this one. You can change, if you do 60 FPS, it's going to chew more bit rate. It's going to demand a bit more than what your limit set. So if you can't do, if you have really bad internet or upload speeds, best to do that, 30. Um, even if you have data limit, for example, I have a terabyte every month. So if you want to figure out how much data you're going to use, so you, you go back to the um, output, uh, bit rate, so, we don't want to. so I normally stream at 2,000 
500 kilobytes, so do 2500 kilobytes to MB, so we 2.5 megabytes. Now times that by 60. 5 times 60. You're going to be using around 100 gigs, like, oh, not really. Hang on. Okay, this site here I'll probably put in the description. So if you're going to use 2,500 kilobytes, that's 2.5 megabytes, it's going to use around 9 gigs an hour. And it does some simple base. So if you want to stream at 800 kilobytes, it's going to use 2.8 gigabytes. So I have a terabyte, so this is fine. This is fine for now. So if you go to 3 megabytes, it's going to go up even more. So do 5 megabytes. I can do 5 megabytes upload, I've seen that happen, but I normally chill at 2500 because it looks fine and that's what 720p needs. And uh, you still have space, breathing space, to download stuff while streaming as well as um, uploading. So if you have a 1000 1, or 1 megabyte upload, best to stick 800 because you'll get an easy chill. Even worse, you can go to 600 kilobytes, just change stuff. You'll be fine. Change stuff in the uh, output. So if you're streaming at one me less than 2.5 megabytes to 720p, it's going to look all blurry and choppy. So you need to downscale your resolution based on your bitrate. Hotkeys, you can set up hotkeys if you want. This bit, okay. Have it on DirectX 3D, so it's DirectX 11. Um, you can copy the settings here, but I haven't really messed around with this much. Once you're done, hit apply. And this will be your stream. So, how I've done it, so this is just a PNG image. Uh, not that, that's a uh, ticket off. Um, click on that. Yeah, so, th no? Okay. Okay. So, this, so, there's some streaming materials that you can use. For song requests and stuff, you can use Nightbot. And or stream labs for like alert boxes, donation alerts, uh, donation alerts. So you can log in with Twitch and YouTube. So you can use this for both. So this is um, Twitch stream lab stuff with the donations, view counter, Twitch chat, Twitch alerts. So if I turn these, hide these for a second. This is the overlay. You can insert them pretty quickly by hitting the plus. If it's web based, like say for your alert boxes and stuff. So once it loads, you copy your URL here. You go kit plus, uh, browser source, hit new, and then you paste it there. And it'll pop up then you can adjust it, resize it. Oops. Size and stuff. So, I just make, so it pretty much. So the the bottom layer you want is always your game capture or whatever screen. So if I do display, I can't do display capture because I have to reboot OBS twice. But if you're doing uh like your gameplay, is, we'll imagine this black screen is your uh, gameplay. So if this black screen is your gameplay, if you bring it straight to the top, it's gonna hide everything. It's literally going to hide everything. So if I drag, for the example, this and bring it all the way to the top, and hit play, I turn on. There's not nothing displaying um, right now because there's nothing on yet. <laughs> so yeah. So if I go to my second screen for a sec second, it's a representation. So this is my second screen. As soon as I try turning on other stuff, for example, my. Uh, image. No, that's not it. Where is it? Ah, overlay. There we go. See, it's got to hide the overlay behind it. So you want to bring this all the way to the bottom. Just the bottom of it. And see, it works there. So have your overlays, your app, like, web browser source stuff, like, alerts, ticket art, donation ticket art, anything from Streamlabs, like anything from Streamlabs, or even from Nightbot. Um, have it on t the top, above the, your, whatever you're capturing, your game capture, your uh, display capture, or even your uh, uh, well, window capture. And even if you want to do breaks, intermissions or breaks, you can put that on top, on stuff. 
Um, I normally have a chill over, just over the overlay. So your other stuff is. So yeah, you can also have different scenes. So I've got one for recording, in case I want to green screen stuff out. Or Facebook Live, I have a separate thing. I won't show you now. But um, when you hit start streaming, little red box will pop up here, or a box showing what your upload rate is. Red means it's either too low or too high, or uploading. Green means it's in the uh, recommended set you've told the to upload. You've got your CPU usage and your FPS. If you're if you're playing a demanding game, you're trying to, for example, um, if I try playing a uh, PUBG at 60 FPS, trying to stream at 60 FPS, uh, OBS doesn't like it and it starts dropping frame rate, but which you can't really tell on stream. So it tells you how long you've been live, how long you're, you can stream and record at the same time. You can also do different scenes so if I have a different scene to change the setup like a different screen or something without uh, quickly changing it you can do fade times to switch between scenes you can do stuff you got your little volume mixes that you can see my mic right there I know I put a noise gate on uh, no that's not it it's in filter I've been messing around with it so you, got, which you can add a noise gate noise gate right there which pretty much a certain amount of volume um, a certain amount of volume will pick up and record where if I do a like a people in the background stuff it really suppresses that noise and you get your desktop audio which is here when you set it up it's pretty much done so yeah hope you enjoy this uh, update tutorial on OBS this is my recommendation you can always experiment and see what suits for you and what suits not but there's up, like other stuff. This is a quick, easy setup for a decent, decent like oh, not decent I should say stuff. Yeah. Anyway, see you next time. Make the streamer happy. Spam, Cray, Gazan, let him feel. Nope. M, L, G, Kappa, Kappa, Kipo. You stupid. Life was 10.